Still on the fence about whether consciousness can survive physical death? Here's a really interesting article to show you that science really hasn't understood consciousness, that scientists do understand that there could be other realms out there where consciousness can exist. This is an exciting article, I think, for all of you that are interested in learning a bit about the science and the spirituality because you understand they're two sides of the same coin. So this article goes on to read, a baffling new theory to explain human consciousness has suggested it comes from hidden dimensions and it is not just brain activity. A physicist claimed that we plug into these invisible planes of the universe when we're making art, practicing science, pondering philosophy or dreaming. For those of you who haven't seen my video about seeing deceased loved ones whilst you're dreaming, check it out. It goes on to say Michael Pravika a professor of physics, I hope I've just said that right, I do apologise if I haven't. A professor of physics at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, has based the idea on hyperdimensionality. Pravika is quoted as telling popular mechanics that the sheer fact that we can conceive of higher dimensions than four within our mind, within our mathematics, is a gift. It's something that transcends biology. Hmm thought-provoking. So it says on here that uh, scientists have been attempting to explain human consciousness for hundreds of years and that Pravika's theory is the first to venture outside the realms of neuroscience and into theoretical physics. And that's because quantum physics is really starting to make scientists feel safe to explore new frontiers. Pravika suggests that in moments of heightened awareness, like when we enter a dream state or use our brains for deeply creative or intellectual tasks, our consciousness could transcend our physical dimension and enter a higher plane. Hallelujah! Okay, I'm all for it. I want to see the science doing this. In these moments, our consciousness sinks with hidden dimensions and receives a flood of inspiration. Well done, this scientist. No doubt he's going to be shot down in flames, but he's a damn physicist. He's not going to come out with something wild like this because he hasn't actually thought of a theory that might be feasible. And I just, you know, I'm not saying that this is all right by any stretch of the imagination, but I applaud the fact that scientists, true scientists, are keeping an open mind. They're willing to chew over different theories and have the discussion because we don't understand consciousness. And from my personal experience, I can tell you it survives physical death. Consciousness is not dependent on the material world. In fact, I really believe it must be fundamental to it. But of course, I can't prove that. We need scientists like this who are willing to think outside the box and step outside the norms and challenge programming right now. We don't know the half of it. So do check out the Daily Mail article for yourself and read the whole article. It's really interesting, actually. And don't forget, my content is here to bring your awareness to life. So if you would like to follow me, share, like, save for later, comment, it all helps. And I deeply appreciate it.